We are going to explain normal pressure hydrocephalus, its symptoms, diagnosis, and treatment. The Smith family is visiting Grandma Erica with their children. During a walk together, they notice that Grandma Erica is walking very poorly. And while having a cup of coffee later on, she appears increasingly confused. Back at home, Mr. and Mrs. Smith are concerned. Could these possibly be signs of Alzheimer's? Or is it simply old age? They research Erica's symptoms on the internet and come across information on normal pressure hydrocephalus, also known as NPH. They realize they need to discuss this with a specialist. Together with Grandma Erica, they visit a neurologist. He explains that our brain contains cavities called ventricles that are filled with cerebrospinal fluid. With normal pressure hydrocephalus, these ventricles expand, and the fluid puts pressure on the brain. The consequences include dementia-like symptoms, an uncertain gait, and incontinence. Because these conditions develop gradually and are often blamed on age, Alzheimer's, or Parkinson's disease, normal pressure hydrocephalus often remains undiagnosed. In order to check whether this is the case with Grandma Erica, the physician conducts a walking test. He determines that the test results are abnormal, and he immediately suggests an MRI scan. The results show that Grandma Erica's ventricles are indeed enlarged due to her age, and her brain is being subjected to pressure. The physician refers Grandma Erica to a neurosurgeon. The neurosurgeon performs a spinal tap test on Grandma Erica and temporarily lowers the pressure on her brain. Grandma Erica is more alert after the test, and her capability to walk is much improved. The neurosurgeon is convinced Grandma Erica suffers from normal pressure hydrocephalus. The Smith family and Grandma Erica are relieved at this diagnosis because normal pressure hydrocephalus is treatable. The implant of an adjustable gravitational valve allows for regulation of her intracranial pressure. Excess cerebrospinal fluid is simply drained. Individual adjustment is possible at any time in a comfortable way behind Erica's ear, and the valve is not even noticeable. Just a few days after Grandma Erica's surgery, a consistent improvement in her symptoms becomes apparent. The Smith family is amazed at how well Grandma is walking now, and she is happy to be able to enjoy walks in the park with her grandchildren again. More information about the diagnosis and treatment of normal pressure hydrocephalus is available at meetka.com.